Uh, Sylvan Campbell is a silver professor of mathematics at New York's University, uh, Courant Institute of Mathematical Sciences. He's a fellow of the American Mathematical Society. In the math world, he is a big deal. We contacted him via Skype and gave him one question to answer. Here it is, it's the one you're answering. Renee has more money than Horney. If Renee gave Horney $20, they would have the same amount. That's crucial because some of you are giving the wrong answer. If instead Horney gave Renee $22, Renee would then have twice as much as Horney. So how much money does each person actually have? Here's Sylvan. After Renee, Renee gave Hone $20, Renee had $20 less because he gave away, he or she gave away $20. So R, so now has R minus 20. Is that right? Okay. That's how much right, Renee now has. The initial amount, take away 20, right? R minus 20. Hone, on the other hand, has changed how much he has from H to he now is $20 ahead. So he now has H plus 20, okay? So to symbolize this so far, I've represented this, if you can, can you see this? I've presented this by arrow showing what's changed over here. H went to H plus 20, R went to R minus 20. You see that? You see that? Okay? Okay, fine. And now, let's, what else are we told? Then we're told they would then, they would have the same amount. So they would have the same amount means those quantities are equal. So I'm going to represent that by writing down, and I've added, the only thing I've added to what I had before is I put an equality between those amounts because they've told us that those amounts are now equal. So there's a little equation. It's one equation. It has two unknowns, R and H. That's not enough information to solve it because there are two unknowns and only one fact. We need as many inputs as we have unknowns in order to be able to solve this. So, so far, we do not have enough information. We know an interesting relationship between R and H, summed up by this equation, summarized by this equation, but we don't have enough information to determine uh, how much they had initially and, uh, and also correspondingly how much they had at the end of the transaction. With me so far? <laughs> Vaguely. So that's Sylvan Capel, Silver Professor of Mathematics at New York's Courant Institute of Mathematical Sciences. He's the bomb. Uh, if you were watching, he was wearing a beret. He's magnificent. We'll come back to him throughout the program. Uh, we've also asked Dr. Robin Hankin, a mathematical science lecturer at Auckland University of Technology, to solve the equation. We'll have both answers at the end of the program, and we're getting hundreds of answers from you.